Thank you. I'm happy to be here today to talk about the importance of strategic planning, what are the elements of a strategic plan, and to give you one example of a case study that we've uh, recently completed. And uh, I'm not sure if we'll have time for questions or not, but I'm happy to meet with you afterwards. Why is strategic planning important? Really, we're working with a lot of clients across the country right now, just mapping out where they want to be in the next five or 10 years. Some of them are actually transforming their whole businesses. Some of those organizations decide to either do things internally and do everything themselves with their key stakeholders, and some of those companies hire companies like Greenbrier to come in and do the strategic planning for them. Whatever the case might be, it's basically looking at their strengths and weaknesses and their opportunities and threats and their mission and vision and all that kind of stuff. And the end result is really building a consensus with their key stakeholders. That includes their management team, their board of directors, their residents, and key community leaders. We'd basically do that by starting off with a board retreat, uh, understanding all their goals. Sometimes that's two hours, sometimes that's four hours. We come back and do probably three or four different uh, meetings with them. The end product is basically a written document that they use that helps to guide them for the next five or 10 years and really building that consensus with their management team. Uh, we recently completed one with Morningside Ministries where we looked at their mission and objectives, their external environment, including the competition and the market analysis, strategy formulation, implementation, and then how they go back and evaluate that. And we're currently working with that client to do two different um, expansions at their campuses. Uh, as I mentioned, part of what we look at is their current situation. How are they currently doing financially? What are their opportunities in terms of their physical plant, their, their business mix, all that kind of stuff. We look at the economic environment, the housing market, uh, senior housing trends from an industry level, and really look at the overall market overview. Um, we take all that external information combined with the industry trends. This here is basically looking at occupancies for the whole industry compared to people's home values. And as you've seen over the last couple of years, that's been trending down. I think that's affected a lot of people's decisions in their strategic planning. Um, here we're looking at basically the growth you'll see in about 2025 that the senior population basically hits a peak. So everybody is really planning for that event. And uh, that's in combination of independent living, assisted living, and nursing. This is really what we call a dot density map where we can quickly get an idea of how the market is in their the local marketplace. These dots each represent a household age 75 and above with incomes of $50,000. We take all this external information, look at their internal assessment, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. How are they doing financially? Do they have the financial resources to grow and do what they want? Do they need to bring in outside equity? Do they need to merge, etc.? And then based on all that, we come up with this matrix and map out what they really need to do. Probably the key things that they look at is the, the bottom lower left uh, quadrant of the opportunities. That's really where we highlight to them what they should be doing. Uh, a lot of people that hire us have no money. Some people have $100 million. We were just up in Indiana last week with a foundation that has $100 million. Their campus actually isn't located in the best part of town, so they're trying to figure out whether they keep the campus or sell it and develop somewhere else. Morningside Ministries, this is basically a master site plan where we completed a strategic plan for them to expand their campus to offer more assisted living, nursing, more common space, health, wellness, all that kind of good stuff. And we worked with them for about six months to do this and now we're currently engaged to help them actually implement this as well. Um, so that's how a lot of our engagements work. We start off initially doing the initial planning. Some of the new insights that we're seeing nowadays is many of our clients that are physical plant-based are all looking at community-based services. They really want to look at how they can serve the 90% of the people that will never move into senior living community. Obviously, the benefits of the strategic plan is that it helps bond the management team, the board of directors, the residents, et cetera, to have a roadmap on where they want to go over the next five or 10 years. And uh, we're doing a handful of these across the country right now. If you'd like to learn more about strategic planning or Greenbrier, please stop by and see us at booth 1208. And if you have a chance, stop by in uh, some of these benches down the main aisle here. 
and take your picture and we'll put that uh, on our screen by our booth as well. Thank you for your time.